Well, this is going to be one of those nights. I was halfway through Raw. I got interrupted. The video kept going. YouTube has shitty editing that I don't even remember how to do anymore. So now I'm doing it over. And my original reactions of this stuff won't be the same. But after night one, like they always do, they have after show drafts, which they did. And I'll tell you that now. On Raw, they got the Viking Raiders full group, Dexter Loomis, Candice LeRae, Maximum Male Models, Zoe Starks, J.D. McDonald, I don't know, don't know who that is, Apollo Crews, Natalia, Sonya Deville, and Chelsea Green. All SmackDown got was Hit Row and Lacey Evans, and then they had notable free agents, which there has to be way more, was almost an MB with MVP, Mustafa Ali, Dolph Ziggler, and Von Wagner. Okay, let me pause. Triple H is out, and he's basically saying any undrafted people tonight from either brand are subject to being transferred to any brand afterwards, which was normal. He also mentions, I don't know if it's now or later, that Brock Nessler worked out a new deal, and he is once again undraftable and can go to any brand he wants. First round of night two. Rhea Ripley, that's right. There was rumor that Judgment Day would be drafted without her. I'm going to leave it at that for now because I already know, which I'll get into that later too. This So far, this draft is pointless, I'll tell you that much. SmackDown gets... Austin Theory. I was going to say Aries. <laughs> Raw pick. Seth Rollins. Maybe he can actually win a world title again, going to Raw. But we all we know damn well that new gold belt is for Cody. <laughs> and they already have a built-in feud waiting to go between him and him and Rollins. I apologize because Triple H loves hamming it up. With the crowd. I want this to go as quickly as possible, just like you do. SmackDown's pick Charlotte Flair. So that's the end of round one. And they are using a old picture of her because <laughs> she don't look like that anymore. So recap, Rhea Ripley to Raw, Austin Theory to SmackDown, Seth Rollins to Raw, Charlotte Flair to SmackDown. That's the end of round one. Next presenters are Booker T and Queen Charmel. Both look thrilled to be there. Raw is getting the undisputed tag team champions. Don't they get the same privilege as... Roman Reigns, because they hold both titles, they can go to any brand they want. So, stupid draft. Not that any of this, I don't know, not that any of this really truly matters. This obviously proves that. Smackdown pick is the Usos. Heyman came out again and hinted at the Usos because they lost their rematch to Owens and Zayn that they could be drafted to Raw as punishment. Well, obviously the bloodline's still together. They acquired two shows of pushing that narrative. Next Raw pick is the LWO. No. Well, I heard Rey Mysterio. 
It's Judgment Day. So what was the point of drafting Rhea? Just because she had the women's title? Why didn't she go with the group? She'll still be in the group. The LWO is this. This is a SmackDown's pick. They get five people. I had just read that they were going to put Ray officially in the group to be the leader and help elevate the group because they're the number one merchandise sellers currently in the WWE. So they get Zelina Vega, Santos Escobar, Cruz de la Toro, and Joaquin Wild. I didn't know that Ray was officially in the group. So recap. Owens, Zane, Raw, Uso, SmackDown, where they were, Judgment Day, Raw, LWO, SmackDown. So HBK finally got the draft out. The Raw pick is Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez, the women's champs. SmackDown's pick. Asuka, which is interesting because she supposedly asked for her release. I don't know what show she was on, but maybe this is supposed to make her feel better. <laughs> Raw pick. New Day. Which is interesting because it was rumored that Big E is going to be a surprise draft pick in this in the draft, which I think is really messed up because he broke his neck a little over a year ago, literally by maybe 12 days. And it was said that I remember that his one vertebrae, if it even had a little bit more of a hairline crack, he would have died. You can't tell me he's healed. The Brawling Brutes go to SmackDown. And out of everybody who got their names back, Pete Dunne didn't, which I'm still not happy about. And uh, I don't know about the gimmick either. It's just, I don't know. Hey, they're English. Let's make them newsboys, newsies. So, recap. Liv Morgan, Raquel Rodriguez, Raw, Asuka, SmackDown, New Day to Raw, Brawling Brutes to SmackDown. That was round three. So they are switching it up a little bit with the presenters. RBD is back, but they have Eric Bischoff out with him too. <laughs> Still love them some RBD. I think he's got his own line of weed, too. Fourth round, first pick, Raw. Trish Stratus is, okay. I know she's back, but I didn't think she was on, like, official roster status. So, and didn't she turn heel? So Trish Stratus to Raw. SmackDown's pick. Carrying Cross. With Scarlet. I just said like a week ago, are they even doing anything with this guy? He's been back. He made an open challenge to Raw Roman that his time was ending and he was going to have a feud with him. That didn't happen. Ronda Rousey to Raw. I thought she was out hurt. Some of these... Oh, Ronda Rousey and Baszler. What happened to Baszler, too? I guess I just don't watch this product. You don't hear anything about some of these people. I watch highlight videos. SmackDown's pick. LA Knight. 
Well, that's good, I guess. I hear they're not doing anything with him anymore. But he's going to SmackDown, or staying on SmackDown. I think he was already on SmackDown. So that's a good sign for him. I don't know what his age is, but I mean, it's like, should get off the hot with that dude? Because it's like, he is basically, in my opinion, the next Rock, and they shit him away, too. So, I don't know, I guess we'll see if he gets some sort of push. I will say they did a backstage segment where Heyman was talking to Solo and Jimmy Uso came in and basically Heyman told Solo to leave the room and uh, Heyman immediately followed and totally blew off Jimmy. So uh, it doesn't mean they're in the bloodline and they're still not getting kicked out or beaten up by Solo at some point. So I thought that was interesting. The next presenters coming out, which was big, was Road Dog again, but all I saw was a flash of Holly. I thought they were bringing out Bob Holly, but it's Molly Holly. She's so tiny. Braun Strowman, Enrique Shade of Raw. I don't know what I think of that tag team. Shotzi Blackheart to SmackDown or Sheena Group or something to just Shotzi. Good for her because she used to kind of be on the Florida indie scene. I'm happy for her success. Bronson Reed to Smack, no to Raw. God, I have not seen a match of his since he's come back. And then SmackDown's pick. Who? Oh, Pretty Deadly from NXT. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I know the name. I guess I haven't seen them in person or whatever. I stopped watching the new NXT after about three, four, five episodes. Mm -hmm. So, recap Braun Strowman, Ricochet, Raw, Shotzi, SmackDown, Bronson Reed, Raw, and Pretty Deadly to SmackDown. That was the end of round five. Like I said, those draft picks were so stupid. Judgment Day is coming out as a group. So I don't know. I don't get it. I think this is the last round. It's JBL and Teddy Long again. First, yep, it is the final round. The Alpha Academy to Raw. They make Otis look so massive in the picture. <laughs> Rick Boogs. Wow. All right. To SmackDown. I didn't know he was back. Yeah, he got injured at last year's Mania. Raw pick from NXT. What? Oh. Katana Chance, they changed their name, and Caden Carter, who were just challenging the NXT women's Tag champions on SmackDown. <laughs> so I figured they were winning the NXT titles. See, now here comes the the NXT Women's Champions. I don't get this at all. Kudos for those two little girls, though, because, I mean, they've been rotting away in NXT for a while. I was going to say earlier, because they showed them sitting there. I'm like, those girls aren't getting drafted. <laughs> so I guess it's... Uh... 
time for uh, them to do something with him. SmackDown pick. Cameron Grimes. Oh, he was rumored to get called up. I didn't really know that he was going to. He had a nice little run a year or so ago. All right, so recap. Alpha Academy Raw, Rick Boog SmackDown, Katana Chance and Caden Carter Raw, and Cameron Grimes SmackDown. So that was the last round. That is night two of the draft in the books. Uh, I'm obviously not going to do the follow-up to all the undrafted people. That will be on WWE.com later, obviously. But those are the leftovers. None of it's going to be a big deal. So uh, no Big E was drafted, but everything else that I read like a week ago, it happened, but it, it was pointless. It was still pointless because they were still drafted with their groups. So anyways, guys, that is it. 16 minutes in. Hit like, leave a comment, subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell, all that stuff. Let me know what you think. Looked like, uh, uh, what's his name? I can't think. Anyways, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching.